So who are you and what's your relation to Pioneers of Change? Okay, um, my name is Miele Boyer. I'm uh, originally from Denmark, but uh, I'm living in Sao Paulo, Brazil now. Um, I was in South Africa for eight years and I was involved in setting up Pioneers of Change in 98 and 99 and then I worked for Pioneers of Change for five years um, full-time from 99 to 2003. And now I work with um, something called Rios Partners, which is um, an organization that um, basically works around developing the capacities that we need to cope in the future um, and um, helping people to create innovations, um, social innovation, basically new ways of, of solving complex problems or addressing complex problems. And, and did Pioneers of Change somehow lead you to do this work? Is, um, how yeah, did that? Yeah, uh, definitely. Um, so I, uh, I studied political science in university and I, um, at the time when we started Pioneers of Change I was aiming to work I think in the United Nations or in some big development organization and, um, and then Marianne and others started talking to me about Pioneers of Change and um, so basically I dropped all my plans and started working for for the network and um, I think now I'm, I wouldn't be able to have a normal job in a big organization anymore um, and uh, I think the, the track that I was on I think I could have made a difference but it would have been a much heavier system that I would have started working within and I don't know how that would have changed me but um, with Pioneers of Change I, I um, I think I became a lot more um, entrepreneurial and creative and um, I, was, I became more aware of my own capacity to make things happen in the world that are completely different um, and um, yeah and I think I became much more aware of also the, um, the balance between um, both the, the internal work so things like values and and um, emotions and uh, you know basically internal development and how that relates to the external work that we do in the world um, where I think I was much more um, seeing all the problems that's outside of myself and now I know how to see myself as part of the problem um, and also I studied you know political science and development for almost seven years and we never really learned anything about process or how organizations work. It was always about um, systems and structures and politics and economics and um, so it was very externally oriented and, and the idea of how human dynamics affects it was, was not a part of my education and now I'm much more attentive to that. Um, so I'm still, I'm still working on issues like in South Africa I was working around um, children affected by AIDS or vulnerable children and a lot of work around HIV and AIDS um, and now I'm starting to work more in the field of climate change so it's still those big issues um, but uh, it's much more balanced in terms of the different dimensions that affect those issues and including the personal and the organizational as well as the more societal that's interesting, the relation you're mentioning between kind of the large institutionalized systems, organizations and mm. and and the entrepreneurs like, like the pioneers. Mm. Do you, is it is it possible to do to make the change from within these organizations or do we need new forms of organizing? Do you have any reflections on that? I think we need both. Um, that's the last year or so that's been my answer to a lot of questions is both and <laughs> and um, I think that's always been the answer that I've been drawn to but people push you to like they think that that's not taking a stand but I, I really strongly feel that we need both both mm -hmm. and um, and I know people who've made a huge difference from within um, big organizations uh, m mostly people that I've met through pioneers of change um, and I also see people starting things you know uh, seeds um, so I really think that we need both and we need connections between the two. So, um, and that's what I think Pioneers of Change is about, is mm -hmm. you make a difference wherever you are in the system, whether you think it makes sense to make, try and change a big organization or try and create something new that you see, where you see a gap that nothing's happening. Um, and then building the relationships between them and the mutual respect between them so that they can, um, our different strategies.
communities can feed into each other and create a bigger impact than what we can do individually. So that those kinds of relationships is what I see Pioneers of Change being about. And um, I think I would I would find it a bit sad if it if if Pioneers of Change didn't include also people who are making a change within mm. big institutions because I think they they're doing amazing work and I think it's um, their experience is is really important to learn from and I don't think that we can create a sustainable future without also changing the big institutions. Um, I just I just think it needs to sort of happen everywhere and it's. I see kind of pioneers of change infiltrating, mm -hmm. you know, many different spaces and and uh, adding it all up. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> so, if if you were to describe pioneers of change to somebody who doesn't know it, what is pioneers of change? Um, kind of, we're all trying to grasp what is pioneers of change. Yeah. How would you describe it? Um, well, I, if I were just to answer that question, I would say it's a learning community of of um, young people who are making a change both within organizations and creating new organizations, um, trying to make a difference in their communities and, and their spheres of influence. Um, but um, I was thinking on my way over here that for me another way of describing pioneers of change is that it's been, for, for me and I think for many people, it's been an amazing playground. And I don't mean that, I mean that in a very respectful way. Mm. But um, the projects that I work on now are, are kind of higher stakes and um, in Pioneers for Change we had a chance to uh, experiment with processes and ideas and just test them out and in a very playful and free way um, and talk very openly with with peers and you know host a workshop and um, develop our skills um, in a way that we can now also use um, in other situations, or at the same time, it's not like Pioneers of Change is the playground phase, and I, I can still use it as a playground. I can still, if I have a new idea, test it in the Pioneers of Change space, and then see how it goes, and learn from that, and then uh, use it externally. So I think that's a very important um, aspect of Pioneers of Change: is the freedom to experiment in that space, um, and to then um, incubate the new ideas in that way. You know, so I, so I think that's that's a very important aspect of it. With, with, and I say, uh, as I say that, I say that with a huge amount of respect, mm -hmm. you know, of what that means. So, any final words to new people looking for a community of pioneers, or some a thought you want to um, to bring? I think just to um, you know to appreciate it for what it is. I think it's. It's also, a, I mean, I've also made some of my biggest mistakes in pioneers of change, and you know, but those have been some of my greatest learnings. And so, um, so just to to appreciate it for um, how real and raw it can be, you know, as well, and um, how we grow from that. Uh, so, um, and you know, to nurture it, it takes a lot of effort to keep it going because it's so self-organizing, and this, you know, it's not a lot of resources. It's, mm. it's very biological as one of our early mentors Oscar would say he would always talk about biological organizing and um, so it, it takes a lot of nurturing um, and um, it doesn't happen by itself but I think it's it's the people in it that make it happen so just encourage people to keep doing that